Hello everyone and welcome back to Darkfall Lost Souls. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't remember everything that I could do at the end of part 10, but we are, you know, narrowing down the options really. I mean, I thought at first that we should go upstairs and maybe go to my room up on the third floor, but as you'll see, I still can't do that. Yeah, I'm still faced with smoke uh, and the drink and the drugs. So what I think I need to do is actually return to an area that I haven't really seen since the first video. I have to go back to the toilets and I have to look at, I think, it, it's a, it might be a barrel? I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, we should definitely go outside, leave the station hotel and, uh, and see if we can make it back there. Around here? Right. Yep, here we go, hang on. Yep, just over here. I think I saw a magnifying glass as well. Yes. Yes, I think it's the barrel, and I'm hoping that this uh, this last item that I picked up isn't perfume. But let's uh, have a look at something over here. Oh, this is where I found the fuse, wasn't it? How the hell did I miss this? Okay, hang on. All right, we've got a we've got a locked box. It looks like. Oh, uh, hang on. <laughs> have I still got the lock picks? Of course I have. Okay, why would I throw those away? Okay. Oh boy. All right. Uh, okay. Now this I wasn't anticipating. The the barrel? Yes, but not this. Come on. Where is it? Where's the sweet spot? No? There you go. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Over here? No. Shit. A lot of trial and error. <sighs> okay, down here. Uh, top right? Yes. Up here. No. Shit. <laughs> Okay, if it's like all the others, it's just four, so let's hope I get this next one right. Down here. No. Okay, but it's, yeah. Like six o'clock, two o'clock, ten o'clock. That one. Yeah, yes! Yes, okay. Ah, scissors. Right, fair enough. Um, I've already got a pair of scissors. Is that it, really? Well, presumably, if I didn't have a pair of scissors, I could maybe pick one up from here, but... I could just go back into the hotel for that, really. Is that actually it? Seriously? Can, let's just have a look at that again. Can we do that? Is there anything else? I can't take these? No, okay. Just these scissors. Well, I'm actually really disappointed. <laughs> Never mind. Right. Okay, so I can use something here. Let's try out this. Yes, okay. Wasn't perfume at all. The last doll as well. The last doll. Right. A little bit singed, as you can see. But I think that's the point. Yeah, I think that's the point. So, let's see. Uh, is, is that it? That's everything that remains in the barrel. Apart from some charcoal, it looks like. Uh, ah, the text message. Echo? Yep. The others have gone. You mean the other guests, maybe? The others have gone. They are free. Hate. Capital letters spell hate. That's always good. Right. Um, okay, I suppose what we should probably do now is head to the water tower, because we do have three dolls, and we've got three sets of eyes. And based on the stories, which I've reread <laughs> a few times now, I think I understand what I need to do. Another one? Okay, fair enough. Only you, me, and Amy now. Or... No Amy now. No Amy now. Right. Alright. Okay, uh, Echo must have the fastest fingers in the West, because here comes another text. You killed Bones. Stabbed. To death. I was wondering about that, to be honest. Did I, though, really? Or is that just Echo trying to fuck me over? Let's see, uh... D-E-A-T... Death. <laughs> yes, death. Okay. <laughs> what was that sound effect? Uh, right. Yeah, let's go over here, cross the tracks once more, uh, and head to the water tower. Should be able to complete that puzzle now. Oh. Murderer. 
What's the lies? What's the lies? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> It's never a good situation when the uh, the trees are accusing you of murder. No, 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 no. It's not you, it's all lies. Leave me alone. I killed him, I did it. I killed Bones. Oh, there you go. He admits it. Forgive me! Now leave me alone! Hmm, there you go. Looks like they have. <laughs> right, so I've got to ask about the logistics of this. How did you drag his body all the way up the ladder? Because you can barely drag yourself up there. I mean, why did you put a coin or coins over his eyes and leave him with the ID and everything? It's a bit weird. Anyway, we have a text message. You must set him free. Use the sisters. Me free, you test. Something like that, I think. Who the devil is sending these messages? Really? I have no idea. I think it might be Amy, because who else could it be, really? Unless I'm sending him to myself. Which I don't think is even possible. Anyway, up we go. You see what I mean? How do you get the body up there? I mean, he must have did a, I don't know, some sort of pulley system, maybe? <laughs> Bit of an odd place to, to hide a body. But there you go. Wow. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember. Through the hatch once more. And let's turn around and let's complete this puzzle that's been troubling me for quite a while. Okay, so let's just take a look over here, shall we? Oh. oh no, okay, let's let's back away. So let's have a look at these. These are all leaves, right? And I think we've we've got a book somewhere down here. Uh, it's one of the St. Swithin's books. Maybe I went past it, I'm not entirely sure. This one? Right. So, okay, so we've got the three names of the, the three other sisters. It's uh, Ashley, Rowan, and Hazel, right? So we've got Rowan, Ash, Ashley, okay. So, um, looks like we've got a, a print of... Rowan leaves, and we have some ash leaves over here. So if we just back out of here. To my estimation, this looks like it might be ash. This looks like it might be Rowan. And I guess that leaves Hazel over here, which is much, much more different than the other two. So now I suppose what we have to do is find out which doll's which, because they all do seem to be slightly different. And they're all right here. Okay, so let's see. We've got this one, who... uh Who's a bit sort of darker than the rest. This one that we just picked up, obviously burnt. Um, so I'm thinking that actually might be Hazel. Uh, and this one. Who, um, who looks fine here. But in this little sort of thumbnail, you can see the legs and, you know, the, the limbs have been removed. So if we think back to the stories of Ashley, Rowan and Hazel. One was pulled apart, one drowned, and one was... Well, burned, basically. So, uh, let's see. Let's let's go with what I think I know already. So, let's see. Um, so, that's Ash. That's Rowan. I've made a little diagram here on this piece of paper. Hopefully, hopefully it makes sense. Um, yeah, let's do, let's, do, let's do Hazel. So, let's go over here. So, Hazel's got to be the burnt one. Right. And Hazel has, uh, has brown colored eyes. So, let's see. <laughs> it still makes me laugh. I don't know why. So, I think we have Ashley over here, and we have Rowan right in the middle. Now, Rowan apparently drowned, and Ashley was pulled apart, so I guess that's Ashley. And this rather sorry-looking one is Rowan, so let's put that one there. And let's give Rowan green eyes. Okay. Now, let's just... Put the other dolls there and see if I've done this right. Okay. <laughs> yes? Ooh, yes! Okay. Right. Now, what's this? 
Oh, there's actually something we can grab. Alright. Oh, it's that symbol. Well, it's all over the place. Okay. I've... Where did it go? Uh, oh, hang on. Did it go in here? Was... That was what was missing. Right. Okay, give me a sec. I guess I'll just need to do this again. <laughs> uh, right, so we start off with this one. Then the uh, the next one, where is it? It's over here, isn't it? That's fine. I guess I'll do that last. I think this is the way I did it before, and it seemed to work out with um, only a, a few moves I had to do. So it's that one. The fifth one's already correct, but we need to spin... Oh, that's kind of annoying. That sort of blocks, <laughs> that sort of blocks everything. I can't really see. Um... Let's see, which is the... I think it's this one over here, isn't it? That you can just about see the edge of, so... Let's spin it round. One more time. That's it. Now I should be able to just spin this independent of the others. That's right, okay. Uh, well, let's bring the... Um, let's bring the, the mountains, the triangles back. I guess that was what I was missing all along. Yes, there you go. Okay. Thank you very much for the hints and tips you gave me, um, especially to do with the dolls. That really did help me out quite a lot. But, um, right. Can we not use this? I mean, I don't know, really. Uh, back away, I guess? Right. Uh, did I? I must have done that in the wrong location again. Oh, no, here we go. Oh, it's doing it for me this time. Right, so it's already complete. What do I do with it? Do I go back to Andrew Verney's room? I'm not really sure. Can we have a look at the dolls again? Can we have a look at Mr. Bones again? Uh, actually, no. No, we can't. That light's gone. And I don't want to shift the metal out of the way. We're just going to leave Mr. Bones in his final resting place. After I stabbed him. Yeah, shit. Okay. Um, well, that's that. Now what? Where? There's... If we're considering the hotel, I think there's only the third floor. Isn't there? Is, isn't that it? I mean, there's, there's no, no, it's nowhere else to go. I don't think there's any other items that I wish to use. There's no more things to stab that I know of, unless it's on the third floor. Uh, yeah. I'm not really sure. I guess let's head back to the station hotel. Uh, I'll try the third floor. I don't know. It's got to be the third floor at this point, hasn't it? This. Well, I'll try... No. I won't try anything. I'll read this text. Nowhere to hide. Nowhere to run. Hid here. Hid here. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go over. I suppose let's go through the buffet area again. Another one? Okay, here we go. Echo's really sort of overdoing it now. All is ready. Room 3F is waiting. Okay. <laughs> Room 3F is waiting. Well, there you go. The third floor it is. It's got to be. Now, what's the easiest way of going about this? I suppose it is through the buffet area, isn't it? It's gotta be. I mean, this has been a pretty enjoyable experience so far, I have to say. The only real detraction, I think, is that it takes so long to move from place to place, and there's so much of moving from place to place. If it was instantaneous, I wouldn't have too many problems with this game, honestly. Outside of the, uh, the initial problems that I had in the first three videos. Okay. Another one? Blimey. All right. You need to know the truth, or you know. You know me. You need to know the truth about me. Okay. I'd love to. Time. Tell me who you are. Yeah. Someone staying in room 3F, I suppose. Some other ghost. <laughs> I just had a thought that it might be Nigel Danvers contacting us, but I don't think that's the case. It'd be kind of interesting, though, if it was. Uh, right, up we go. And again, of course. Bloody hell. All right. Couldn't you just make one long text? Might be easier. Save your money. 
you do know me better than you think. And is that is <laughs> that's Dowerton. The hidden message in that one is Dowerton. Okay. <laughs> really? Nigel? <laughs> nah, it wouldn't be Nigel. And again! Really going into overdrive with the texts here. I am you. Your guilt. Your conscience. Your echo. Okay. So it was me sort of sending texts to myself. That's weird. No, it can't be. I deny it. <laughs> to be honest, I was waiting for another text from my conscience, I guess, saying, No, it's true. Here we go, then. Let's try the third floor. If everything's ready, I should be able to go up there, right? Oh, oh wait, 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 no! I didn't notice that! I... Okay. <laughs> calm down, Inspector, calm down. I can use something here now. Okay. Um... <laughs> well, I don't think it's anything I'm going to be stabbing or... or... Lock picking. Well, it's probably going to be this then, isn't it? Yes, there you go. All right. Okay, can we move up freely? Yes, we can. All right, the third floor. Barbed wire and all. Okay. Uh, I can barely see the floor up here, to be honest. Right, okay. Well, let's see. Let's let's just try all the doors. Oh. What are you holding there? Oh, is that one of the things I, that's one of the things I stabbed. Okay. I guess there's nothing in 3B. <laughs> I think the layout's changed somewhat since Oh, hello. Yeah, it's another one. Is that meant to be my heart rate? It's gotta be, right? It's gotta be. Okay. Well, let's move forward and try not to get snagged on the barbed wire. Okay, so what would this be? This... Another one. This would be 3D. Okay. That's so weird that I can only just see the hands of that mannequin. What about over here? I guess you're offering me another leech thing. Yeah, yeah, it seems to be the way of it. Slightly faster heart rate this time. Okay, well, fair enough. I guess we've got, you know, at least two more rooms to have a look at. One of them should be mine. Over here? Okay. What would this be? 3E or 3F? One of those. Ooh. That doesn't sound great. <laughs> Over here? I think that's as far as we go, even though the corridor does extend. Nothing to grab this time. Right, I think this is actually 3F. Let's see. Uh, I've still got my key, right? There it is, 3F. The only one I haven't used. But there's just no door to use it on. Ah, oh, didn't we see back where I found that third doll in the barrel? In that toolbox, there were some wire cutters, or bolt cutters, or something like that. Why didn't I pick them up? <laughs> well, maybe I can, actually. I don't know. Well, this is kind of strange. Is there nothing on the floor? There's absolutely nothing on the floor. What about the ceiling? Can we see the ceiling at all? Barely. Is there a light missing, maybe? I've still got a light bulb that I don't really know where to use. It might be in my room. Um... Okay. And is that the stairs? Okay, that's the stairs. We're just going down again. Right, I, I don't want to do that. Definitely don't want to do that. I don't think there's anything for me here. How do I get into my room, though? <laughs> it sounds like a text is trying to get through again. Come on, conscience, get into gear. You've helped me out thus far. Let me know how I get through this. So let's just, let's just go through this again, right? So we've got... Mannequins all over the place holding sort of offerings. Right. All at sort of varying degrees of 
Uh, heart rate, I guess. Let's let's put it that way. Varying heart rates. Some really fast, some slow. Some non-existent. That one right at the very end on the left. Uh, do we have to go through them slow to fast? Or fast to slow? Or something like that? If that's the case, well, that would almost make sense. That's how the puzzles are in this game. They don't really make themselves brilliantly evident all the time. But yeah, okay, that was that was pretty calm. Maybe that's where we start. I don't know. I just, I just I'm just gonna have to experiment. I might edit a lot of this out. I'm not sure. Again, that's very slow. Okay, that's a bit more rapid. And, uh, of course, up here on the right, there's nothing, but on the left, there's probably... There's probably going to be the end or the start of it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, just give me a sec, I'm just going to draw a, a little map <laughs> of these five rooms with these five offerings and the five heart rates. And, um, well, I'll try going from slow to fast. If that doesn't work, I'll go from fast to slow and then see if anything happens. Okay, I think I've got the gist of it. I, I wasn't sure whether it was going to be this one that was the slowest, or the one that's ahead of me into the right, but I think it's actually the one that's ahead of me into the right, so... Um, if you're using this as a walkthrough, I'm actually standing right at the, the top of the stairs right now, okay? So, um, I'm gonna start off my little sequence by, I guess, looking at 3D. I think this would be 3D. See, that seems quite reasonable. Nothing untoward is happening. <laughs> no um, high blood pressure or anything like that. But now I think we probably have to turn back on ourselves and go to the one that I just came from. Okay. So this, I think, would be 3A. Okay. Now the one to my right and the one right at the end of the corridor a more high-pitched and continuous, so I can only assume the other one, the uh, the third bit of the sequence, is going to be this one. Okay. Alright. Only two to choose from. We're going to have to go back on ourselves again. And it's going to be 3B this time. Yeah, there you go. More high-pitched. And of course, that is going to be more continuous over here in, I think, 3E. Right. Okay. Can we keep going? H have the barb... The barbed wire's moved, the door is back, it's still locked up, but uh, here we go, uh, 3F! There you go, okay. Just takes a little bit of working out. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I like my room very much, to be perfectly honest with you. What's this? Okay, uh, play? Play. She came to no harm. I would never hurt her. You lured her from the playground, piece of filth. Not near me. Tell us where she is. She's gone to a better place. She will to go. If you've harmed her, you bastard. She's with her angels. They look after her. She called for them and they came. In a dark night. Her angels dwell there now. In the hallways. Where? What hallways? Where is Amy? I see. I see. Let's back away. This is the room that I interrogated Mr. Bones in, wasn't it? Yeah, so hang on. If we look to the right... Oh, okay. Got some photos and stuff up here. Just want to have a look up here, in the corner, if possible. Oh, hang on. Oh, I can't leave. Oh, shit. Is there a camera up here? Oh, I can't look up at all. Maybe there would be. I'm not sure. Uh, say no to drugs. Twice. Say no to drugs twice. Right. Let's have a look at the, uh, the photos, I suppose. Oh, that's right, yeah, that's that's the box where I found um, some of the books. One of the mannequins. 
in the buffet area. The eyes on the boards and yep. Yeah. Oh damn. Are they actually bones of children there? Interesting. Okay. Uh we got some more, it looks like. Station hotel, right, syringes. Shackles. That looks like where where were the shackles? One of the Saints Within School for Girls books. There you go. Yeah, I, I don't remember shackles at all, to be honest. Over here, though? If, mm, okay. I guess we can't really have a very good look at these two. Uh, that's fine, though. That's all right. Over to our left, there is a... Well, it's a mirror or it's a one-way mirror, I would think, because this is an interrogation room, right? You're too late, Is that me? Oh, there she is. Oh, hello! <laughs> uh, right. What, what are you doing here? What are you doing here, Amy? My party is party over, over and the cake has turned rotten. rotten. I am sorry. Sorry for everything. But you can you still, can help, still me. help me. I need I to need go, to go home. home. But, but someone, someone must, must stay, stay to look after, after my, sisters. my sisters. You have no sisters. They are dolls. Broken, battered, and burnt. That's not, That's true, not true, and you, and know, you it. know it. You are, you old, are old and grey. You should you stay. stay. Yes, my little friend, you can leave. I will stay. Or I do not belong here. It's not my game. You will stay. Okay. Um. Do I stay? Or do I say no? I, you know what? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say no. Sorry. I do not belong here. <laughs> it is not my game. You will stay. But why? Don't you like me anymore? You're a horrible man. I hate you. I don't have a very fond opinion of you either. You'll never no. leave. It won't let you. Really? I got I got lockpicks and I do see a door behind me. Run as fast as you can. Right, hang on. <laughs> uh, hang on. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, hang on. We're onto something there. Up here. Oh shit! This one. Oh shit! Oh my god! I'm not sure if that was like a, a, a timed thing, but I did pretty well there. Or did I? Four, five, six. Oh. Really? <laughs> and there you have it. That is the end of Darkfall Lost Souls. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, interesting ending, though. Of course, now I'm wondering what would happen if I chose the other option. If I stayed in the room and I suppose took Amy's place. Allowing her to leave instead of me? I... Hmm. I guess I did sort of condemn her, in a way, and maybe that's the uh, the last in a series of bad decisions that I've, I've made as, as the inspector. Was that a good ending or a bad one? I'm not entirely sure, because... Well, here's the thing. When I was in room 3F, in the interrogation room, and looking at the window, the, the mirror, whatever you want to call it, I saw myself as, um, as see-through, like Amy. So, I thought I might be a ghost. And I've been concocting this theory for a few videos now, but I guess that's not the case because I just woke up in an operating room, right? On the table, looking up at the light. And I'm okay. So I guess I was just on the brink of death the entire time, which is why I got glimpses of the operating room and I, I heard the heart rate uh, monitor in that final puzzle, I suppose. And yeah, I that's why I've got the drink, that's why I've got the drugs, because I took too many of both, probably, uh, to try and get over the guilt of killing Mr. Bones, right? That's, uh, that's what it is in my estimation. Killing Mr. Bones? I did not anticipate that. 
Not at all. But, um, yeah. <laughs> of course, I'm still trying to work out the logistics of how I lugged his body up to the tower. Some sort of pulley system, it must have been. Um, but there you go. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I, I quite enjoyed it. I wouldn't say it, it was perfect or anything. Far from perfect, in fact, but... Well, let's see. I suppose right now I've got to sort of compare this game to the others in the series. And maybe that's not the right thing to do, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Personal preference. I think I preferred Dark Fall Lost Souls over Lights Out, the second game. But not the journal. I think the journal is still in the top spot. And, I mean, uh, here's the thing. With this game, we've obviously got the best visuals. I think probably the best soundtrack as well. But there's just certain things that I, I didn't like. And, you know, my opinion on this game is slightly skewed, slightly tainted, because I had a very bad start with it. I mean, I had to restart this game three times. Of course, one of them was my fault. It was down to me and my recording software. Nothing on the game whatsoever. But the second time, because of the, the randomized numbers on that lock, I did have to restart, and there was no other, no other way around it. I guess, aside from guessing, and that could have taken years to figure out. So, yeah, um... That was on the game, that wasn't my fault, and that did sour my opinion on the on the game to begin with. It won me back over the last few videos, but yeah, I still think I prefer the journal. Plus, you know, I said earlier, the movement is kind of clunky, it's slow. Looking up and down on every screen is often unnecessary, it's monotonous and quite tiresome. Uh, it's just, yeah, I'm just swiveling your head, just turning around takes like two seconds each time, and you, I don't think there's any way to skip it, unfortunately. If there was, and you could move around more or less instantaneously to where you need to go, because there is a lot of going back and forth in this game on treasure hunts or eye hunts or whatever. Yeah, maybe I'd have a, a higher opinion of this game, but... There you go. Plus, in this game, I thought this was going to build upon the journal. When it seems that... It seems like the journal, in this game's case, it was kind of like rewritten, or a lot of it was ignored. Which I wasn't expecting. So, yeah, that's a bit of a shame. So, yeah, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed playing it, and hopefully you enjoyed watching it, right? But, yeah, it, it, it's not the best of the series. I think that still belongs to the first. That still belongs to the first game of the series, I think. But that's just my opinion. Feel free to uh, put your own opinion down below in the comments. I'm sure that'll be a fun thing to read. Uh, either way, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you back in another playthrough very soon. See you then. That one. Yeah, yes! Yes, okay. Ah, scissors. Right, fair enough. Um, I've already got a pair of scissors. Is that it, really? Okay, uh, Echo must have the fastest fingers in the West, because here comes another text. I've got to ask about the logistics of this. How did you drag his body all the way up the ladder? Because you can barely drag yourself up there. And Hazel has, uh, has brown-coloured eyes, so let's see. <laughs> it still makes me laugh. I don't know why. The mountains, the triangle's back. I guess that was what I was missing all along. Yes, there you go. Okay. Bloody hell. All right. Couldn't you just make one long text? Might be easier. Save your money.